The following is an instructional video for the installation of Bain Clean truck mounted equipment into a standard commercial van. This is a sample of one type of installation, however the basic procedures will apply to all installations. The complete tank assembly is guided through the rear doors of the vehicle by the use of a forklift equipped with extended forks. The tank assembly is then set on metal rods placed on the floor of the van. The rods allow for easy movement of the tanks without damage to the flooring. Measure and position the mounting holes on the tank supports over the chassis frame of the van. When measuring, check for lines and wiring that might be in the way when drilling. Drill and bolt to the frame in four places when possible. Bolt to the van flooring when access to the frame is not possible. Insert the proper length bolts through the flooring and frame. Remove the metal rods. Add spacing washers and lock nuts to the underside of the frame and tighten all bolts. Some systems will require a wheel channel. Mount the channel to the rear of the center support with self-tapping screws. Next, use an inch and a half hole saw to drill the holes for the heater hoses. Position the holes forward of the wheel well on a flat surface. Plastic grommets are used to prevent chafing of the heater hoses against the metal flooring. Snap the grommets into the holes. Use a 3 8 inch drill bit to drill the holes for the electrical wiring. Plastic grommets are used to prevent chafing of the heater hoses against the metal flooring. Snap the grommets into the holes. Push each wire through the grommet until all slack is out and the wires are tight to the floor. Tape the ends of the wires together to help when routing the wiring. On most vehicles, it will be necessary to remove the air filter and coolant reservoir to allow room to route the electrical wiring and heater hoses. Route the wiring along the frame and up the firewall to the battery. Attach the black wire to the negative post and the red wire to the 100 amp fuse. The fuse can be mounted directly to the positive post or secured close by. When removing the air filter, be sure to disconnect all wiring harnesses and hoses attached to the housing. When routing the heater hoses, start from the engine compartment, down the firewall, along the frame, and up through the holes in the flooring. Secure the hoses to the insert fittings on the side of the tank. Make sure all fittings and clamps are tight. Check to see if the grommets are secure and there are no kinks in the hoses. Use tie wraps to secure the hoses in position. Also check to make sure the hoses are not touching any moving parts or against any part of the exhaust system. The location of the hoses will vary, however the T-fittings must be placed in the proper engine hoses. 
diagram shows where to splice the T-fittings into the existing hoses that run to the vehicle heater. The direction of flow starts from the engine block to the vehicle's heater, through the heater, and then returns to the water pump. The T-fitting that is spliced into the hose from the block to the heater will have a brass reducer screwed into the center or end of the T-fitting. Position the reducer so that the flow to the heater is restricted. This forces more of the flow toward the long run to the tanks and back to the engine. The T-fitting that is spliced into the hose from the heater to the water pump requires no reducer and can be mounted in any position. Cut the hoses, allowing space for the T-fitting. The fitting is sized for 3 quarter and 5 eighths inch hose. Place hose clamps over the hoses and insert the barbs of the fitting into the hoses as far as possible. Then tighten the hose clamps. This fitting is spliced into the return or water pump hose. The flow from the heater is drawn into the water pump as well as the flow from the tanks. Both the return fitting and outflow fitting are installed here. Note that the outflow fitting is only connected on two sides. The last connection will be made after purging the lines of air. Purging the line is needed to force out the air from the empty hoses and coils in the tanks. The air is replaced with water or coolant throughout the entire heating system. Use a garden hose or coolant pump, as used here. Force coolant through the 3 quarter inch hose going back to the tanks. The coolant will pass through the system and out a short hose temporarily connected to the outflow fitting. Force out all the air from the system, remove the short temporary hose, and secure the outflow hose to the T-fitting. Finish up by replacing the coolant reservoir and air filter. Slide in the base unit. Secure the base unit to the recovery tank at both front and rear. Fill the solution tank with water. After a short test drive, inspect all connections for leaks and check for proper function of the heating system. If you experience problems with your installation, please call BainClean for assistance at 1-800-428-9512.